Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here, and I'm so fancy. Yeah, Hollywood, you know I love you more than one night should. Yeah, Hollywood, well kiss me, kiss me good. Yeah, Hollywood, you know I love you more than one Music! Finally! I really thought that 2014 was one of the weakest years for music ever, and all of a sudden in September there are so many albums based around bands that I am interested that are coming out before the close of 2014. Now don't get me wrong, there have been some incredible albums that have come out from artists like Pharrell, Coldplay, and of course the biggest sensation to hit the United States and pretty much the world, Australian White gangster rapper who is someone in the pop world named Iggy Azalea. So it's not like music has totally been dead, but I am the guy, if you've been watching my videos when it comes to music, I like to find myself CDs of bands that I've pretty much been growing with for 10 years or more. Sometimes I also like to find something new, and I'm glad to say that today I will be able to give you one of each. And here is the first album that I want to go over today. The album, of course, is Oh What a Life by the big sensation right now, American Authors. Now, this album came out earlier in 2014, and I know that their very first single, Best Day of My Life, came out in late December of 2013, but it didn't have such an impact with me because it just sounded like everything else out there. But then later on this year, the single Believer comes out, and all of a sudden I'm saying, who is this band? I have to find this album, sample it, and see if it's even worth getting. And it was. The story is absolutely phenomenal with this foursome. It's about four guys, one from each corner of the United States, and they met at Berkeley Boston, which is one of the most prestigious schools for classical and contemporary music, one of my favorite bands of all time, Dream Theater, who you have heard me talk about, and we'll have a gnome doc coming out soon featuring them. That's where they met and became what they are, but these guys did the same, and they brought their own unique music style and blended it all together to give us this debut album. I'm also glad to know that I am still with it in the world of upcoming and new artists. About a year ago, I talked about Imagine Dragons and fun, and I'm glad to know that it's still going in that direction. So, what I love so much about this one is that it gives me so many great memories of bands like Collective Soul and Soul Asylum, all the way up into sensations like Matchbox 20 and Third Eye Blind, and even some that you probably never heard of in ages, like Nine Days, but I also love the fact that a banjo is used numerous times in this album, and all the songs are really, really good. I mean, they're very pop, because there's a lot of great hooks, but songs like Believer and Luck and hit it all the way to Oh What a Life. It's a great listen straight through. Every single song is a good listen. There's not a single bad song on this whole album. These guys are really one of the bands to listen to in terms of new artists. And I am just hoping that this is going to be one of the few bands that has come out to continue their legacy because right now I'm still wondering when Imagine Dragons is going to release their newest album. I'm glad to see that bands like Coldplay and The Fray and The Killer have been still going and still giving us great music. Owl City's another one, so I'm glad to know that some of the bands that I've picked up on in the past 10 years have really continued on with their legacies, and I'm really hoping that they're all going to continue to get bigger and better. Same thing with American Authors. And here's another band that is in that category that has been getting bigger and better by the day, and that is the new album from Maroon 5. I am quite certain that this is 5 and not V. So it makes more sense. Maroon 5, 5? I, I really don't believe it's Maroon 5 V. But anyway, if it is, just let me know in the box below. But here's what I have to say about Maroon 5. When Overexposed came out, about two years ago I think it was, it was a very sombering feeling when I picked up the album. It was a good album, don't get me wrong, but 
Knowing that in 2003 when Maroon 5 first came onto the scene and what they were like with songs about Jane all the way to Hands All Over Me, all of a sudden Overexposed gives us this very poppy, heard it before, sellout normalcy that was in the mainstream at the time. This is pretty much what Maroon 5 is going to be. And I think myself and a lot of other Maroon fans we're not really big on that. So when this album comes out, I hear the first single, Maps. It doesn't sound terrible. I mean, I think it sounded a lot better than what you got from Overexposed. And then I sampled other two singles that were released before the album debuted in Animals, and It Was Always You. And especially when I heard oh, It Was Always You, that was where I really started to get very excited because... It sounded like their penmanship in returns to their lyrics and the thought that really goes into their songs was coming back and they were sort of mixing the overexposed sound, maybe a little bit more of an 80s new wave sound, and it really sounded like it was going to be good. So the album comes out, and it's not. Don't get me wrong, the album is good. The songs are great, very catchy, very good to listen to. It's a very enjoyable album. I have listened to it, along with the American Authors album, multiple times. But after you listen to track three with It Was Always You, then you get songs like Unkiss Me, Sugar, In Your Pocket, New Love, and you're saying to yourself, oh god, it's overexposed all over again. And then when you actually get to the last three songs of the album, which are Coming Back For You, Feelings, and My Heart is Open, featuring Gwen Stefani, you get that feeling from the first three tracks as you did with the last three tracks. So why did the whole album not sound like that? It just didn't make sense. It got great, then it got extremely poppy and mainstream and blah, and then it got great again. I didn't understand why they did that, and it's kind of left a negative taste in my mouth. Again, Maroon 5's album is very good, but if you know where I'm coming from, as a fan of Maroon 5 for so many years, starting all the way back in 2003, you look at what they were, and then you look at what they are now. What exactly is happening? Did Adam Levine literally just decide, you know, I'm going to just sell my soul to the devil and just make my millions and millions of dollars and not put real thought into what I'm writing, even though I probably would still make millions and millions of dollars? I mean, I don't know. But that's the way I feel about Maroon 5's fifth album. And I'm wondering what their next album is going to sound like, and more importantly, what the future of Maroon 5 really is going to be. I mean, I like the fact that it sounded a little more new wave and possibly a little R&B, especially with the songs that were in the middle, like Sugar and Leaving California. You had that feeling. I don't know. If they keep going in this direction of mainstream and ultra-pop, they may in fact lose me as a fan. And that would be very, very upsetting for me because it's rare when I actually just stop purchasing albums of bands that I like, but it has happened before, but rarely. And I'm hoping that Maroon 5 does not fall into that category. I hate to repeat myself, but because of what they were... It just would make me sad if that's the way it's going to have to be. But for now, guys, you got American Authors and you got Maroon 5. If you're fans of Maroon 5, I mean, you know, let me know if you like it. Do you think that it really is a better album than I really anticipated it to be? I mean, let me know what your thoughts are. If you listen to American Authors, tell me about them, too. There's going to be some more music coming down the line in the next couple of months before the year closes because there are some great new albums of bands that I'm really excited to hear from again. So you'll be getting some more music reviews, and I'm happy about that. So for now, guys, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and actually speak louder than words. We are the fashion police.